Why do you expect an L-shaped economic recovery? And what would stall recovery from here, to your mind? So this year, um, because of COVID-19, um, through a different mechanism, you know, slowing down domestic consumption, external demand, exports are also uh, negatively affected. And uh, on top of this, uh, travel bans uh, really um, uh, undermines uh, uh, free flow of uh, people as well as uh, goods and services trade. So that's why we have um, uh, overall negative uh, contraction of uh, overall Asia, 0.7%, minus 0.7%. But the starting from uh, this uh, baseline, uh, our baseline assumption is uh, um, uh, basically, um, um, uh, assumption is basically uh, COVID-19 can be uh, controlled within this year, towards the end of this year. And then um, uh, once health risk is contained, we can envision a strong bounce back. Uh, next year, 6.8% seems to be high. Um, uh, one uh, element behind this is because uh, we start from, uh, we compare from a uh, um, uh, low uh, baseline of uh, 2020. That's why we can have a uh, 6.8%. Uh, Actually, if we uh, plot the um, uh, trajectory of GDP uh, uh, level, uh, mm -hmm. we don't see a stronger V-shaped recovery, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, recovery uh, looks like uh, L-shape or a shape or a Nike-shaped mm -hmm. recovery this mm -hmm. year and next year.